Hello Tubers, Shootfish Productions back again, got something quite different again today and um, the story behind it is I was selling a telescope to a family member and I took it to base to transport it and um, when I looked at the base it's like a motorised hand control thing, it's called a go-to telescope and automatically moves to where the stars are, it takes a bit of setting up and I got fed up with it so I'm selling it. Uh, so before I sold it I thought, I don't know, um, I could strap a gun on there and remote control it hook it up to a laptop with a webcam on the, on the rifle sight and uh, I thought I'd give it a whirl so um, here's what happened and I um, hope you like it just give you a little tour now, a little tripod before I started and um, we'll show you the video so here's the tripod um, that extends up quite high but I left it as it is for stability there's your little hand controller there with the buttons that make it move um, that's the bit where I've got to try and swap the rope on. And um, yeah, turned out okay. So uh, here's what happened. So this is the gun on the tripod. Um, you can hear the motor whirring away as it, you know, the movement on it is quite good. It can move all the way around, point there enough straight up. And um, yeah, it worked pretty well. Um, accurate. If you imagine this is designed for stargazing, um, it's got pinpoint accuracy. Um, this is a shot of the laptop um, from the webcam, strapped on the eyepiece. Sorry about the dirt on the screen, I didn't even see that until I was in with the camera. Uh, you can hear the old motors are quite noisy. And uh, this is the software I use with the webcam. This is like a direct recording. So this is probably more what you'd see in real life if you like instead of seeing it through a, um, a camera screen so um, it's pretty clear um, there's the old target coming into view um, I'm going to switch back to the sort of live cam in a minute and and we're going to do a live shot with it and um, we'll see what happened and proof of concept does it work here we go back to the dirty screen and the buttons on this controller you, you touch it gently and that moves a really tiny amount so much that you can hardly see it because bear in mind the accuracy for stargazing and if you hold it down it then moves quicker and quicker and it took a bit getting used to and I didn't realize for a little while that there was a bit of lag on the webcam as well and um, right well there we go that's the first shot and well not the first shot but I think that's where it hit. Like I say, the string on the trigger um, sort of moved on the tripod a bit. There's the webcam strapped on the, the dust cover there. Use thin electrical tape. A couple of cable straps, two of them pushed together, tied it on there. The tripod is quite light. Um, the balance weren't great. That's the hand controller. You just use the four direction buttons. There's a nine volt battery there. On off switch. And that's the bolt action rifle. I was restricted because of the bolt with how I could mount the rifle. So, um, I say if I'd done it um, to use often, you could obviously do it a lot better. So, there we have it um, remote control or robotic gun plugged into the laptop. Um, you could have your laptop indoors, a gun outside, and um, great fun. What do you think, guys? Thanks for watching. So that was our robotized remote control rifle. I hope you liked it. Um, unfortunately, I sold it. I would have loved to kept it and perhaps worked on the trigger, put an electric solenoid on there instead of a bit of string. But proof of concept was there, proven, worked, and uh, very happy with it. Thanks for watching.